Prebiotics are foods that feed your gut microorganisms, collectively known as your gut microbiome. So what you eat plays a huge role in the composition of species within your gut and ultimately your overall health. There are three types of prebiotics. The first one being soluble fiber. Soluble fiber is only found in plants and mushrooms. This is the component of the plant that our body is unable to digest. And when the soluble fiber comes into contact with friendly microorganisms within your gut, they transform it into short chain fatty acids, which are molecules that have a profound effect on our overall health. The second type of prebiotics are resistant starches. These are found in things like potatoes, sweet potatoes, and other starchy foods. These act almost identical to the soluble fiber. The third type of prebiotic just so happens to be my favorite and these are the polyphenols or phytochemicals. These are antioxidant compounds found only in plants. When you look at the plants and the beautiful colors, those are the polyphenols. Just like soluble fiber and resistant starches, the polyphenols don't do anything for your body unless they come into contact with a healthy gut microbiome. One example of a polyphenol that has been studied for longevity is resveratrol, which I'm sure you all have heard about. This comes from red grapes and other plants. Resveratrol only has an effect on longevity in the presence of healthy gut microbiome. So the more polyphenols you eat and the more variety of polyphenols you eat will feed a variety of healthy microorganisms within your gut. The most important message here is that you need a food supply for your friendly gut microorganisms and those are the prebiotics and these come exclusively from plants and mushrooms. If you want your gut microbiome to be as healthy as possible, you need to be eating a variety of plants on a daily basis. I'll leave you with this last statistic. 97% of American adults and children do not eat the daily recommended amount of fiber per day, which is 25 to 35 grams. The average American eats less than 15 grams of fiber. So what does that mean? The average American is not eating enough plants. So they are missing out on these prebiotics. They're not getting the soluble fiber. They're not getting the resistant starches and they are not getting the polyphenols. People, chocolate has polyphenols. Tons of other plants have polyphenols. Very easy to get if you incorporate a large variety of plants within your diet.